Hey guys, Bronze Goddess here again. Um, I wanted to make this quick video. This is kind of um, kind of a motivational video. And before I even get started, I have my daughter in my lap right here. My husband normally watches um, my daughter when I'm doing videos, but he's asleep and I don't want to wake him up. So anyway, I want to do this video. And this is um, God's resume slash testing one, two, three. Okay. Um, and I'm going to start it off with telling you guys about a situation that I recently went through. Um, okay. Anyway, um, you guys know I gave birth like three weeks ago. And even before that, let me start from the very beginning. When my husband and I had my first daughter, Yana Victoria, before we took her home from the hospital, um, the doctor told us that when they were listening to her heart, that they heard an extra sound. And they said that they were going to refer her to a pediatric uh, cardiologist to kind of check her out. And at that time, I was I was really stressed and really worried. I was like, oh, my God, just had a brand new baby and she's got something, some kind of issue with her heart. I was just spazzing and just like, oh, my God, just kind of panicking. We both were kind of panicking a little bit um, because, you know, my husband had surgery when he was younger. And he, you know, who wants to have a surgery when you're like a, a little kid, a baby? So, um God is so good and you know we had lots of prayers and everything and she was absolutely fine by the time we got her to the pediatric cardiologist the hole that or the the hole in her heart or the extra sound that they heard had already resolved itself the doctor said she was absolutely fine right and I learned something from that um as time went on, I started feeling like, okay, God got me through this situation. He can get me through another situation. And I know you probably don't follow it. Just stay, stick with me for one second. So anyway, three weeks ago when we had my littlest daughter, Kaya Renee, the doctor comes in the room, says the same thing. She's like, you know, I hate to tell you this, but, you know, we're going to refer Kaya to a pediatric cardiologist uh, because we heard an extra sound. It was almost like a repeat, like a carbon copy. And I was just like... Thinking to myself, again, but the difference between how I handled it this time and how I handled it before is I kind of thought about it, the same God that got my first daughter through this situation will get my second daughter through the situation. And I, re I didn't panic, I didn't worry, I didn't stress, none of that. I was like, God, you got me through this before. My whole point is, like, I'm, like I was saying the whole title of the video, God's resume. I just want to tell you guys that I have gotten to the point, or I'm trying to get even better, but I've gotten to the point where if God got me through the same situation once, he can do it again. As the Bible says, he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. My whole thing is, if you feel like you keep going through the same thing, when are you going to check God's resume? The same situation with your man and with your job and with your money and with just everything else. If God has gotten you through this one time before, what makes you think he's going to leave you now and not be there for you now? Check God's resume, okay? And I also want to talk about the second part of the video, testing one, two, three. What I'm talking about for that is for people who keep going through the same thing and the same thing and the same thing. There was an issue I was going through and I felt like I kept getting tested on the same thing. And I was like, God, how many times I got to go through the same thing? And I, I felt like it just dawned on me, like Oprah calls it an aha moment. It dawned on me. You're going to get tested until you pass. Bing. That's right. Until you pass. So if you keep going through the same thing, God is, God is just testing you. To see when you're going to get it. When are you going to realize that he can get you through. If you're sick, he can heal you. If you're broke, he can take care of you. If your man is acting up, he can fix. No matter what the situation is, he's trying to get you to that point. My thing is, once you master it, you won't get tested on it as much. Or maybe even at all. You know, it's a situation in, in my past, you know, you know, when you're just getting married and you're starting out, you don't have a whole lot and you have money issues, you know, it's almost like when it comes to money, my, th my husband and I, were like numb. Like, we either we have it or we don't. But we don't panic about it. Because we know that no matter how bad it ever got, God was always there. And, we, and because of that, we believe him. And we don't, the whole thing is you don't want to get too far up. You don't want to get too far down. You kind of stay in the middle. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want to get depressed every time something happens. And you don't want to act like it's the best day of the whole world and it'll never get any better than this. No, you want to keep it even. Keep a nice even keel. Whatever God says, that's what I believe. Let's just really, really quickly, you know, I just 
wanted to say that for you guys because when the situation happened with my second daughter, I felt like I learned something and I grew. The whole reason why you get tested, the same reason why you get tested in school, you get tested to see what you've learned. So if you keep going through the same thing, they're always backstabbing you in your job. Man, I feel like every job I ever get on, they backstab me. Because you keep handling it the same way. It's like every time I look, I'm broke. Because you keep handling it the same way. When are you going to check God's resume? When are you going to change how you handle it? I said it before in another video. All this whole time you're thinking that you're waiting on God. What if he's waiting on you for you to finally get it? For it to finally sink in? For you to take the test this time and pass? All right. I love you guys and I will see you guys soon. Deuces.